And here we are at Dubai, this wonderful Maidan race course, two miles to go for the Dubai World Cup, which is a Group 2, Arizona Wainwright for D. Hooley, Bronze Grego for D. Thompson, Chariot Charger Alex Cherry, Epic Amigo Alex Ince, Guess Again for Leon Van Rensburg, Heshan Luda, Vinnie Gerard, Jinka Bruer, Steve Rand, Joe DiMaggio, Ryan Tamasebi, Quattro Catch, James Shea, Riley Evardiles, T. Rogers, Stay for another Joshua Sutherland, Beholder Dan Hughes, Dealer the Day for C. Beckwith, Lucky Rebecca for Martin Leadham, and last but not least, Red Ruth Sky for Craig Allen. And away they go, two miles to go here at Dubai. Quite a big field for this Dubai World Cup with some more great prize money on offer, as always here. And it's Quattro Catch going into the early lead, Chariot Charger moving up on the outside. A couple of gaps, uh, a couple of length of gap opening up already there. Um, as it's back to Jinka Bruer, the grey horse in those frangle silks back in third, but that one's joined up now on the rail by Stay for Another for Joshua Sutherland. On the outside of those is Epic Amigo, and that one's now in the third place. But as you can see, the gap's already over four lengths now, with these two leaders setting a good early pace. It's Quattro Catch in the all green silks with a red hat there on the rail. On the outside of that one's Chariot Charger. Epic Amigo and Red Ruth Sky are just going to try and close that gap a little bit. And we've got Lucky Rebecca just on the outside of those. And with the grey horse, Jinka Bruer, stay for another, just being pushed alongside a little bit there. Um, right on the rail. And on the widest outside, we've got Deal of the Day. Towards the back, you can see there, we've got Bronze Grego and Joe DiMaggio stuck right at the back there on the rail. And guess again, coming quite wide there for Leon Rans Van Rensburg. And the jockey's just moving that in and out, doesn't really know what he wants to do with it. It's Chariot Charger in the lead such a long way to go here but those horses that right at the back are going to have to get a lot of luck and running to try and make their way through and weave their way to the front as we come towards the closing stages of the race and they keep turning left-handed here it's chariot charger in the lead and those orange uh, the blue and white silks with the orange sleeves and hat there and quattro catch just on the inside of that there's still a good few lengths gap back to epic amigo in third red ruth sky for craig allen in those green and gold hoops and just on the outside of that one, Jinka Bruer, the grey horse, now moving forward and travelling really quite powerfully there. In behind, we've got the two horses in purple, albeit for different trainers. One of them's Lucky Rebecca and the other one's Arizona Wainwright. Stay for another, still just tracking everyone on the rail. And that one looks a lot more content than it did a little bit earlier in the race. So six and a half furlongs to travel. Chariot Charger and Quattro Catch just going stride for stride, neck and neck. Bowling along in front at a pretty decent pace, and it's Red Ruth Sky now moving forward, but again, the jockey just holds that one back, doesn't want to go towards the front too soon, and it's Jinka Bruer that joins that one in third place, with Epic Amigo just behind those, stay for another, still just bowling along there with Deal of the Day on the outside of that one. At the back of the field, Joe DiMaggio and Guess Again are just trying to find that room. It's going to be easier for Guess Again to just go up on the outside, but those two are really going to have to start closing this gap. It's Chariot Charger in the lead now. Quattro Catch has just lost the f uh, the lead and is dropping away now and letting a few pass it. And one of those is Stay for Another for Joshua Sutherland, who's come in to make an early move. And it is Stay for Another that's now taken up the lead. We've got two and a half furlongs left to go. Chariot Charger and Quattro Catch might have gone off a bit too quick in there. Both their races look run. It's Stay for Another for Joshua Sutherland, opening up a bit of a gap to Deal of the Day, Jinka Bruer. In the green for Vinnie Gerard, Heshan Luda's travelling quite strongly and only one and a half furlongs left to go. They're going to have to really fly to pick up stay for another for Joshua Sutherland, but they are coming. Deal of the day, Heshan Luda. Guess again now for Leon van Rensburg. Red Ruth Sky coming along the rail for Craig Allen, but in the lead it's Heshan Luda. Guess again just trying to pick up and he needs the line at the leader. No, and Guess again picks it up. Guess again wins the Dubai World Cup from Heshan Luda, he was looking for the line for Vinnie Gerard, tried to hold on, but guess again, picked it up for Leon Van Rensburg, last year's champion trainer, and Red Ruth Sky on the inside has actually picked up uh, second place, Heshan Luda relegated to third only, and stay for another, who hit the lead probably a bit too early for Joshua Sutherland, is back in fourth, and Bronze Griego for D. Thompson fifth.